Assalamu alaikum i hope you all are doing well welcome to my channel today we will see chapter number 7 oscillation short question answer so let's start question number 1 is give two example in which resonances play an important role number 1 is tuning of radio electrical resonance answer tuning of radio is a good example of electrical resonance to tune a radio we turn the cop of a radio it changed the natural frequency of electrical electrical circuit of receiver until it become equal to the frequency of transmitter now resonance is produced and energy energy absorption is maximum the ratio begin to receive that waves which produce resonance in it hence a station is tuned so this was the first application now moving towards the second application which is cooking of food and resonance station is cooking by microwave oven resonance play an important role in heating and cooking of food by microwave oven the microwave produced by oven are absorbed due to resonance by water and fat molecules in food this increases the internal energy of the molecules they heat up and so food is cooled quickly now moving towards question number 2 what happen to the time period of a simple pendulum if if its length is double so this question we have already done in class 10 so in this question the time of simple pendulum is given by this t is equal to 2 pi under root l divided by g if length is double l is equal to l dash is equal to 2 l so we can solve it simply by this t is equal to 2 pi under root l divided by g this is the time period of simple pendulum if we take l is equal to 2l now put in equation number 1 so t is equal to 2 let's take this t as t prime then if we take under root 2 common then we get if we take under root 2 common we get this equation from equation number 1 this whole is equal to t you can see here t dash is equal to under root 2 multiplied by t if we double the length we will get this time so this was question number 2 now moving towards question number, question number 3 what will be the frequency of simple pendulum if length is 1 meter we are given length 1 meter and the frequency of simple pendulum is f, f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi multiplied by under root g divided by l g is the gravitational constant which is 9.8 and l is given 1 meter and we know the value of pi 3.14 putting this all values we get frequency is equal to 0.5 hertz now we can find the time period time is the reciprocal of frequency 1 divided by 0.5 we get 2 seconds so this was question number 3 now moving towards question number 4 now question number 4 give one practical example each of free and force oscillation what is free oscillation first we will see that a body is said to be executing free oscillation or vibration if it vibrate with its natural frequency without interference of external force this is called free oscillation example a simple pendulum vibrate freely with its natural frequency without interference of external force that depends upon only the length of the pendulum so this is free oscillation now we will see force oscillation force oscillation is a body is said to be executing force oscillation or vibration if if it's vibrate with interference of external force free oscillation is with without uh, without interference of external force with its natural frequency and force oscillation is with the interference of external force For example, a mass of vibrating pendulum is stuck repeatedly. Then the force oscillation are produced. 
एंड सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल इज द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ फैक्ट्री फ्लोर कॉज बाय द रनिंग ऑफ हैवी व्हीकल्स बाय द रनिंग ऑफ हैवी मशीनरी इज एन अदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फोर्स ऑसिलेशन ना मूविंग टूवर्ड्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव हाउ कैन दिस क्वेश्चन इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड बट वी विल डू इट हाउ कैन वी कंपेयर द मासिस ऑफ टू बॉडीज बाय ऑब्जर्विंग देयर फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑसिलेशन वैन सस्पेंडेड बाय अ स्प्रिंग सो फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ मास स्प्रिंग सिस्टम इज गिवन बाय दिस इज फ्रिक्वेंसी अकॉर्डिंग टू द मास स्प्रिंग सिस्टम देन एफ वन विल बी एफ वन विल बी वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू पाए अंडर रूट के डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन एंड एफ टू विल बी ऑल वैल्यूज आर सेम ओनली एम टू विल बी डिफरेंट सो हेयर यू कैन सी द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ वन एंड एफ टू नॉट डिवाइडिंग इक्वेजन वन बाई टू मीन्स डिवाइडिंग एफ वन बाई एफ टू वी गेट दिस होल वुड बी कैंसिल आउट एंड वी आर ओनली लेफ विथ अंडर रूड वन डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन डिवाइडेड बाई अंडर रूड इग्नोर माई राइटिंग डिवाइडेड बाई एम टू नाउ दिस विल शिफ्ट अपवर्ड एंड वी विल गेट अंडर रूड एम टू डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन स्क्वेरिंग बोथ साइड टू कैंसिल द अंडर रूड वी गेट एम एफ वन स्क्वेयर डिवाइडेड बाई एफ टू इज इक्वल टू एम टू डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन so these are the frequencies and masses now moving towards question number 6 question number 6 a wire hung from a top of a dark dark high tower so that the top of the tower is not visible how you would be able to determine the height of that tower in order to find the height of a tower we have to have to determine the length of hanging wire first we will attach the bob at a lower end and vibrate it like a simple pendulum now find the time period of simple pendulum by using a stopwatch let l be the length of hanging wire then period of a bob is given by t is equal to 2 pi under root l divided by g we have to find this length squaring both side T square is equal to four pi square, L and G under root is cancelled. We take the square root, so root cancel root, and we are left with L divided by G. Now we have to find this L. So this G gravity is dividing here. It will multiply with T square, and four pi is multiplying here. when it will go there it will be divided so we are left with this answer by putting the values of time and g and l we can calculate the height of a tower so this was question number 6 now moving towards question number 7 question number 7 why in simple harmonic motion the acceleration is zero when the velocity is greater acceleration is zero when velocity is greater the velocity and acceleration of a simple pendulum is given by this equation v is equal to omega under root x not square minus x square and acceleration of a body or executing simple harmonic motion is given by acceleration is equal to minus omega square x this is equation number 2 and mean position x is equal to 0 put in equation number 1 so By putting x square zero, we get v is equal to omega under root x square. So this x not square, this x, this square cancels the root. We get v is equal to omega x not maximum. and when we put x is equal to 0 in equation number 2 we get 0 because 0 multiplied by any number gives 0 and acceleration is 0 so we prove in simple harmonic motion at mean position acceleration is 0 but velocity is maximum now moving towards question number 8 what is the total distance travel by simple harmonic oscillator in the time 
equal to its period the amplitude a so let's see the answer the distance covered by a body is 4a explanation that time period is the time during which vibrating body completes is one round trip this is a pendulum you can see in the figure it co it covers four times one two then again it comes back three and then four this is four a in one round trip the total distance by a simple harmonic oscillator is four times its amplitude total distance covered is a plus a plus a plus a 4a so this is the answer now moving towards question number nine question number nine what happened to the frequency of simple pendulum as it vibrate dies down from a large amplitude of the large amplitude does affect the frequency for a small amplitude let's say less than 5 degree we can say that frequency does not depend upon amplitude in in this small amplitude limit the frequency is given by f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi under root g divided by l in this equation we can see that frequency of simple pendulum is independent of amplitude for a larger amplitude that will be less than above equation so this was question number 9 now moving towards question number 10 a singer holding a note of right frequency can better a glass explain a glass can have certain frequency of vibration when a singer sings a song of same frequency as natural frequency of atom of a glass then frequency matches frequency matches and resonance take place due to resonance the amplitude of vibration increases and energy transformation is maximum and the glass can be scattered to break the glass you need to broadcast not only the sound that is just right frequency but also has the high enough amplitude loudness to break the glass we should have high amplitude or loudness so this was the answer of question number 10 so this was the exercise of Chapter number 7 Oscillation. I hope you all like it. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.